Let's get into it. This is the Ian Dilemma, and it looks like a tree when you come on up. These are forecast models trying to figure out where this thing is going to go. Not only do we have a wide range of potential here in the path, but also in the timing. You know, some slower than others, some faster, but it's just, just a mess here. So you're talking about it coming to Florida. Is it going to go farther toward the west here? So the official track from the National Hurricane Center, the latest one that just came out, uh, a little bit ago at 11 shows crossing over Cuba as we head into tomorrow, ballooning maybe to a cat three, a cat four. Obviously, that's a major hurricane and then starting to turn a little bit toward the east northeast toward Tampa. So that seems to be the main area of concern right now. These numbers may change. It may not be a cat three or cat two at that time. Uh, it could be you know up or down on that and then weakening as it comes on to land. Now this may change and we see these tracks change back and forth, especially when you're looking at those spaghetti plots that are going all over the place. There's just nothing in concrete. If it stays like this, let's say this is the scenario that plays out. You're looking at weakening down to an area of low pressure in southeast Georgia and then passing by us between Macon and Savannah. We're on the clean side of the storm means you still get some rain, you still get some wind, but your severe threat generally tropical tornadoes, stuff like that, usually going to be on this side of the eye there. So this would be the best scenario for us. It would be just an area of low pressure just coming on up, throwing some rain and a little bit of wind. So we hope for that. Here's a look at the GFS and Euro. They're showing it, as I said, kind of punching through and going straight up through here and they're agreeing on this as we go through Friday into Saturday morning here. Now that's that one. Look at the graph model right here. And this one has been did pretty well last season. So let's take a look. This is uh, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, obviously well defined storm. This one it starts to turn right here and each run continues to go more and more this way underneath Tampa and then cuts across through Florida like this. And if this comes true, we see almost nothing out of this if it starts to tail on off toward the north and east. So interesting to see how this is going to play out. The Hurricane Center track each time has continually shifted more toward the east there. So we'll see what it does tomorrow. There is nothing written in ink right now. So that tracking Ian is exactly that. We're tracking it. We don't know exactly how it's going to play just yet. I do know the next few days, though, are going to be nice.